Hi guys, welcome. Danny here from the Magic Junk Drawer, and we are up to the five of diamonds. So the fives are restless numbers. Like they, they're always like to be in motion. They're a little bit restless. The five of diamonds can be worry about money. It could be um, financial stress. And what do I have written on? This is the, the cards that I learned with. I can't even read it. It says a new project. I always kind of, well, I guess it could be a new project, but I always sort of saw the five of diamonds as more of like the five of pentacles, which would be a little bit of more worry about money. Let me see what I have written down here. What I have over here. The fives can be, a, they, that number could be a little bit difficult. All right, see what it says. Can I find the fives? Five wants to hide on me. Okay. The fifth card in this suit symbolizes practical hopes and potential for the future. This card can offer fulfillment, but it's up to the individual to accept or reject the challenge. This card holds great promise for the future, providing that opportunities are taken when they arise. There can be many opportunities, but there can also be many difficulties encountered along the way. Once started along the road of to success, success does lie ahead, but you have to stick with it. So there is some kind of like, there's usually financial worry when it comes to the five of diamonds. It's the salesperson's card, but if you keep moving forward, you're gonna get there eventually. So when I, whenever I see the five of diamonds, I associate it to like the five of pentacles, which would be worry, a little bit of stress, that kind of thing. Um, now, if in timing, I hate when people ask timing questions because it's so difficult. Five shows up, five days, five weeks, five months, five years. Diamonds can be years, or it could be the winter. So, you know, you could tell someone, oh, it's going to happen before the end of the winter, and then it takes five years. I mean, how does that happen? But it's very hard to measure time in the metaphysical world when time does not exist. There, there's, a, let's see, I never read playing cards in reverse. I always just read them as they are. I just, if, it's, if I'm reading tarot cards, I read them in reverse. I don't know why I just do. I, I don't know why I just do. That, that's my answer for that. Uh, let's see, do I have anything else here? It could be a little bit frustrating, the five of diamonds. That's it. So, so far we've done the ace of diamonds, which would be a new financial beginning. And this is very general. It's just like I always think, make it very simple for yourself at first, when you're first starting to learn. Ace of diamonds, new financial beginning. The two of diamonds is balancing work and home or it's cooperation working with a partner. The three of diamonds is working well together. People working like, um, when I worked at A&P, the last group of people that I worked with, we worked awesome together. We just worked well together. It, we were never tit for tat, ever. It was always like, I'm gonna be 15 minutes late, can you wait 15 minutes? Oh yeah, don't worry, get here when you can. You know, or I shit, something came up, for me on Wednesday, can you cover for me on Wednesday? I'll cover for you for Friday. Yeah, no problem. It was never an issue. We just really worked well together. That's like the three of diamonds. The four of diamonds is financial stability, and the five of diamonds is a little bit more financial worry, frustration, crap. So make it very simple for yourself when you're learning in the beginning because as you start to learn more and you start to put the cards together, they're going to start to tell a story. And the more you work with them, the more it's going to make sense and the more you're going to re like, you're going to know, hey, all right, the Ace of Diamonds showed up, but it doesn't feel like this is a money reading. So the Ace of Diamonds shows up, but maybe it's more about a love reading because it could be. The Ace of Diamonds could be a love reading as well. All right. If you like what we're doing here at the Magic Junk Drawer, don't forget to subscribe and share us with your friends and thank you for watching. Bye.